Hi everybody. It's been a while since we've cooked. We get Salisbury steaks tonight and I am 90% sure that I have never made them before like in video it because I've only made them maybe like once or twice. Super tired. We did the market today. Um, Lily went with me and I'm just I'm tired. I don't want it to be done. I just want today to be done. So and as it gets hotter and heats up I want to do it less and less. So now we are going to do some Salisbury steaks. Super easy. I use one packet of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, some salt and pepper, an egg. That's pretty much it. So we're going to make those. We're going to cut up onions and mushrooms and put those um, in the gravy. I'm not making my own gravy. We're using this because I'm lazy. And that's fine. You don't have to make everything from scratch. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. I'll make mashed potatoes and green beans. And that's what we're having for dinner. So, yeah, uh, let's get started. All right, first things first. The ground beef. That might be like, that's a lot of ground beef. It is. It's three pounds. Will my family eat all of it? Probably not. But they can, oh my goodness, have lunch for dinner. Uh, lunch, leftovers for lunch. My lord, hold on. It's a little frozen still. Ah, oh, damn. I took this, well, I should be able to break it apart. I took this out last night and let it thaw all night. And then I put it in the fridge this morning. It was still pretty cold, but I was like, oh, I'm sure it's fine. But it's still frozen just a little bit. And, um... Sorry, I can't, I've tried to video before where you can see me while I'm doing it and the food. And it's, uh, it's too difficult. My kitchen is not made for that, the way my kitchen goes. So, this is how we have to do it. I see all these other people, they're able to do it, and I'm like, wow, that must be nice. My kitchen is not set up like that. The cabinets get in the way with the camera. I've been inspired to show you guys some of my cooking. I mean, I used to do a lot of them. I just haven't had time because of glass, but there's a lot of stuff I'm not getting done this week, so I was like, might as well. I also started watching, um, a bit, I actually have watched her for a couple of years, Life with Patty. If you haven't watched her, go watch her. Um, I like her channel. She does cooking a lot lately, and I was like, I should start doing those again and get into it. And, uh, yeah, so thanks, Patty, for inspiring me if you're watching this. Um, but she always makes a lot of Cooking. She does a lot of crafts, too. I don't do crafts too much anymore on here just because I don't have the time. But I think that's cool that she gets it. She does all that. and She does grocery hauls like me, too. So, yeah, if you want to watch her, her name is uh, Life of Patty. I usually watch her with my mom when we watch our shows we watch together. My mom likes to watch her. And I'm always up for more recipes because I get so bored of the same food over and over and over again. And, um, yeah. So I kind of just eyeball it when I was, um, putting my spices in. If you know, like, how much you want, go for it. I have no clue how much, like, this is going to need. Like, I hope it's not under seasoned because it's a lot of ground beef. They didn't have a smaller pack when they were on sale, which sucked because I wanted like just a two pound pack but whatever you know we work with what we have and uh yeah I'm gonna add salt and pepper to that too I'm not gonna add breadcrumbs um I know I add breadcrumbs to meatballs but I'm pretty sure I don't to these like I said it's been a long time since I've made them just because my family gets sick of stuff and then I can't make it for a while again, so, yeah. And it's so cold and frozen still. My hand is getting frozen. Um, hopefully, that's enough flavoring, because, I mean, I'm questioning if I should add the other pack of onion soup mix. There's a lot of beef. But I also don't want, like, overly salty patties. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, usually it's just like, 
a two pound pack I use. Maybe half. Half might be a good idea. So yeah, I figured I'd just come on here, show you my dinner, do part of my dinner with you. Or you know all of it, whatever. <laughs> and uh, that's about half. And just give a little chit chat. You know, I've been busy with um, the market. I'm doing that twice a week now. It's a lot. Um, I got a couple events coming up. And that'll probably be it for the year. Sorry, I had to defrost my hand. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I, uh, I have no patience to do more than just a few. I can't. Like, extras. Alright. So I make, like, a little hamburger. And, uh, yeah. Please come out good. I'm pretty sure that's how I made them last time. I make them out the size of, like, your palm. Maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, they don't need to be huge. They're just Salisbury steaks. So I'm going to put a couple of those in the pan. I'm sure there's going to be a lot, like I said. Um, I can always freeze some of these. Probably won't, though. I'll probably just cook them all. And then, like I said, the kids can have them for lunch tomorrow. I know my mom likes Salisbury steak, so she'll eat them if I bring them. But besides that, kids are out of school now. Um, in our state. I know for the north. I don't know when kids get out. But they're out of school. So Lily's been able to help me go to the market. She's earning some money now for doing that. That is her summer job. So every time she helps me with glasswork or the market, she gets paid a little money. She's not getting paid exuberant amounts. But she gets, you know, she wants a little drawn tablet. So I figure I can help her achieve that. I told her she could have it as a birthday present. But if she did, it would be the only thing she got for her birthday. And she did not like that. So I said, well, your other option is... You can work for it and she picked work for it so she's been helping me uh, they go back like middle of August I think somewhere around there so she's only got so many weeks to earn the money and I don't even want to think about summer being over I mean I don't like summer I like summer because my kids are home and I go on vacation in the summer um, I don't like summer because like because it's hot those are the reasons why I don't like it I like fall I like winter. I do not like when it's hot. I want to live somewhere one day where it is not really that hot. And like when it does get like their version of hot, it still isn't that hot. Right. I'm going to fry those sweet babies um, until they're pretty much done. I'm not going to like overcook them or like just fry the outsides and then oh no, the inside's still pink. So they're probably going to cook a while and I'll probably put the lid on. <sighs> These ones right here might just freeze maybe I don't know I don't know what I want to do with those yet because probably all gonna only eat one but like I said then there could be leftovers I just don't have a bigger pan than that I used to and I broke the lid to it I dropped it I don't remember how I broke like what happened but I know I dropped it and I broke it Um, next I'm going to cut up some, uh, mushrooms and onions and then cook those separate so we can put them in the gravy when everything is done. So I'm going to put that in there. I also know, um, one of my subscribers had asked, uh, about showing how I make the breakfast sandwiches. I will be doing that. I just haven't had to make them recently. So, when I make them again, I will try to remember to video it. I'm sorry everybody, Chris called and I had to talk to him so I had to shut my camera off. But I'm pretty sure you know what chopping mushrooms and onions look like. So I have two onions in there and a whole pack of mushrooms. I'm going to cook that down first before I put it in the gravy because I don't want it to be like chewy in the gravy. I want it to be like sautéed. So I'm going to do that. We have these in here. And I'll flip them once they start to get brown. So I pretty much cook them like hamburgers. I decided to put the extra ones in the oven since I don't have another pan big enough for them. And that's going to go in there for like an hour in the oven. 
And now I'm going to peel uh, potatoes for mashed potatoes. And that's what I think. And then we should be good. Because the green beans I have just go in the microwave. Look at Pumpkin. He looks like a little animatronic. He smells the air when food's cooking. Yeah? I can do it now because I'm filming you, huh? Nope. Alright. I'm going to peel potatoes. And this is the best angle I can get where I can talk to you and get them ready for that. Because... My kitchen sucks. I don't know what else to say. I did put part of my hair up because I don't like to get my hair in the food. And, you know, nobody wants my hair in the food. So. Oh, my knife. I forgot I was going to need it again. So anyways. Yep, there we go. We've been doing good at the market. Will's been helping. Hopefully she's able to meet her goal by the time she wants to get her tablet. And then, uh, you really can't see the potatoes. Better. So that's what we're trying to do. Um, besides that, we'll be going on vacation this summer. I'm really excited about it. We're going to go up north. So it'll be fun. Um... The kids had a bunch of testing, which was a big pain in the butt, and it, I just constantly had to go do testing, and I was like, that's not great. I'm not having a good time. And then uh, now it's just kind of like, finally chilled out. My mom's pool liner took a crap, so we had to do that tomorrow. Me and my brother, he uh, bought her a new one, and it came the other day, and we have to wait till he's home from work to do it, and he's off tomorrow. So we are going to... That potato won't look right. Uh, we're going to getting calls from the pharmacy. I don't know about you guys, but like, you ever like use one of the regular pharmacies, like a Walgreens, a CVS, like a Walmart pharmacy, whatever. And like every time, like they're just even refilling medicine. It's like they call you 500 times and it's super duper annoying. And I don't need you guys to call me constantly about it. So yeah. But anyways, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't make this a lot because a lot of times the kids don't like to eat it a lot. They like to eat the same things over and over and over again. Like they always like like chicken. Uh, Father's Day is this weekend. <clears throat> I know, like I said, I haven't gone on here and talked to you guys because I'm usually just doing hauls and getting out. And I figured I'd do this tonight. Um, Father's Day. Me and the kids are going to go shopping tomorrow. And they can get stuff for Chris. I don't know what he wants to eat for dinner yet on Father's Day. I have to ask him. And see. And usually he likes strawberry shortcake. So I'll probably make something like that for dessert. He likes a lot of fruit, like summery desserts. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I've got going on right now. Just trying to keep up with the markets. Because we have been busy with the summer. And then uh, keeping the house in order. But yeah. I might take a short or something tomorrow of the pool. So you can see how that goes. I don't think I'll film it much. I usually just don't get the chance to. Because I'm busy. The kids with school stuff was taking forever. And now it's just like all the market stuff and our business. That's taking a lot of my time. Also I've been playing a lot of Fortnite with my children. That is what we do together now. They like Fortnite. I don't mind playing it with them. I used to play a lot of games when I was younger. And uh, so now I play Fortnite with the kids. We only play a few times a week because I just don't have the time to play with them every night. I mean, it'd be great. Also, though, that's a big time sink. You don't realize how long you're playing Fortnite until you look at your phone and you're like, oh my God, it's really late. We got to stop. My brother plays with us too sometimes and my sister. And that's my favorite. My whole little group of friends. But yeah, I try to get Chris to play. He doesn't have a desire to play. He likes games, but he just said he doesn't want to play it, so I'll just leave him be with it. I also want to start baking again, like muffins and stuff. I was thinking about pumpkin muffins the other day. I'm like, those would be so good. But I just, I haven't had really a lot of time. So maybe on the weekend I can make something like that with the kids. The girls are starting to help more cook. Lily and me made uh, popcorn chicken and it was like 
uh, it's soaked in like a pickle brine. I thought about filming it. It's just, it was so complicated and involved in so many steps. I was like, there's no way. I just, I was so frustrated and just wanted to get it done and over with. But it was really good. It was like KFC, uh, not KFC, Chick-fil-A. It tasted like, it was really good. And we had coleslaw and um, tater tots with that. And the kids liked it. I don't think it's something I'd make like anytime soon. Those onions and stuff are probably going to take a bit. But I did just flip the patties. And I noticed, I've needed a pan now probably for a while. Because my like, non-stick has stopped working like the ceramic pan. And it's just like gone to shit. So I figure I'm going to probably have to get another one. And I've known this for a while. But I haven't done it. Because, like, other stuff keeps coming up. I'm like, oh, I can wait. I can wait. Because I've been trying to, like, check things off my project list. Or things that were needed, but not necessary immediately. And I've been getting, like, stuff slowly that way. Because, you know, we got to try to stay on some sort of a budget. Especially with how expensive just food is. So I'm trying to, like, get things slowly. Like, you know, this week I'll get this. This week I'll get that. Um, this week, I need bed pillows, like, real bad. Mine are super flat. And uh, Autumn needs one, too. So I'm getting that this week. And then hopefully... Maybe, you know, if it's not this week or <laughs> next week, I can uh, look at a frying pan. I don't want to spend $30 on a frying pan, but I also am so sick of everything sticking to it. So, I'm going to continue this. I'm going to peel the potatoes. Uh, I know my kids are home here, and they probably want to talk to me. And i got to make a shopping list. So, I'm going to get off of here, and then I will show you when we put all the coffee and stuff in with the software steaks. So I've cooked down the onions and the mushrooms. And I think that's as good as they're going to be. Most of the liquids out of them. I mean, it would have been nice if they were like more sautéed more, but whatever. So I got a big jar of gravy. I'm going to pour that in here. And I always add water to this. Um, like fill it with like halfway. Just to make the gravy stretch and so it's not so thick. And then it also just gets all the rest of the gravy out of the jar. I'm going to mix this up, and then, then I'm going to pour it over that and let that simmer. And then I'll show you everything when it's done. There's our dinner. That's how it came out. Um, it's It was very time-consuming, I'm not going to lie. It probably took me about, like, an hour and a half to make all this. But, yeah, if you want to try it, go ahead and give it a go. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!